guys. Alright, working. So, here's what we got here. Um, I'm going to cut this out. So I don't really have to pull that real tight. This is where my door pieces go. Um, I'm going to need to fit them before I cut too much. Because I am going to go ahead and have this filled in where the vents were. Um, pulled down around the speaker. I'll take just a regular staple gun. Basic staples. And I'm going to go around and put some staples around that. And around the top of that. Then I'm going to start mixing up my resin. Um, I'm going to cut a lot of matting. Um, so wherever I had holes, I'm going to need to put matting. So we're talking here and here. Probably some through here. Um, definitely up here at the top. But it didn't turn out too bad. It's kind of tricky to wrap this by yourself. Pulling and getting it real tight is hard to do without Amber here to help me. So I got a little bit of wrinkles here. Um, we'll use some body filler to fill that in. It's not a big deal. I didn't put a lot of staples in it yet. I'm going to put some staples in the speaker part. But uh, just pulled it around as tight as I could and glued it underneath. And once you get the fiberglass on, it'll hold. You don't want to put staples through this. It'll, if it's too long, it'll come through the top. And that would not be good. I've done that once before learning this. So I got my little dowel rods in there. Like I said, I hot glued them. It's holding my little um, speaker spacer. I'm going to leave that in the door, this big vented looking piece, guys, because I, I think it has something to do with, uh, pardon me, I got to lay this back down, with the stability of the OEM door panel. They have that in there for a reason, so I don't want to take it out. But I'm going to go ahead and get some big pieces of matting cut. Um, Staple this up a little bit, and I'm going to start pouring some resin, and I'm going to get this thing fiberglass today, and I'm going to drag the other door panel out and get some work on it. Love sunny days, guys. I take advantage of sunny days. When it gets nasty and cold and I can't warm up the garage, you will see me very depressed, because this is my obsession. It's my hobby, and it's my obsession, and it's all I want to do. I love it. I, I can't wait until this beautiful car. It is completely done. I'm going to drag this out later and work on this. This is what we decided to do with the side piece, guys. We're going to mold it into this. I'm going to shave it down to where it's thick here and it gets thinner and thinner and it kind of goes with this. And I think that'll look good. Now I've got to do some more on the sides. This needs to smooth out a little more of that. And then we're almost ready to put Bondo. Uh, I don't know about doing the door piece I was doing, guys, in the middle. Um, I still could do it. I have the little rubber thing cut to fit there. So, anyways, back to my door panel. And it is 80 Saturday. If you know me, it's 80 Saturday. I'm listening to 80s all day today. It puts me in a good mood. And I love 80s music. Um, I was really little in the 80s, but I love 80s music. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. It's beautiful to you. Yeah, wife's off at four and a beautiful tomorrow. And Maybe I need to work on some stuff with me tonight. We'll see. But peace out. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, subscribe and like DSM checks. Guys, we got so much to do. This will go in the car eventually. This beauty. Yeah, I got to cover that. We'll go in my car eventually. So will that. That's a manual transmission. And my beauty is ready to be customized. So. Peace out. See you guys next time. Bye.